Some breaking news right now, a fatal shooting in Koreatown. Two people have been shot. Shots were fired. One person loses their life here in that vehicle in the center of the screen, and a second person taken to a local hospital in critical condition. But do you feel like, in a, in a way, that it was like the attention that he was getting through his music and through being associated with Shoreline that like ultimately kind of put a spotlight on him to no, certain people? No, I know exactly people? what happened here and nothing to do with that. April 6, 2020, was a day like any other for Joshua Andrade Galvez. Known to some as Joshi, and to the world as Mac P Dog. As a rising Latino rapper and affiliate of the hip hop group Shoreline Mafia, he was making his mark on the music scene. That fateful night, Mac P Dog was busy working on his music, excited about the recent release of his new music video for Salt Shaker, which was already getting a lot of attention. He was hopeful and looking forward to what the future held. As night fell, Mac P Dog and an unidentified woman headed over to Koreatown, a lively part of Los Angeles known for its nightlife and cultural diversity. Around 8 p.m., as they were parked at a laundromat, a figure dressed in dark clothing emerged from the shadows. Without warning, gunshots rang out. By the time police arrived, the gunman was gone and Mac P. Dog was deceased. When asked to describe Mac P., Phoenix Flexen said, that Mac was one of his best friends growing up. They went to the same high school and spent nearly every day together. Mac P's close ties with members of Shoreline Mafia, particularly OGZ and Phoenix Flexen, began during his high school years, where their shared passion for music and art laid the foundation for their later collaborations. Growing up in East Hollywood, Mac P Dog faced numerous challenges but remained determined to carve out a better future for himself through music. His early involvement in graffiti and street art introduced him to the underground culture of LA, where he began forming connections that would later prove crucial to his music career. He met Ojeezy and Phoenix Flexen during high school, where they bonded over their shared passion for music and street art. This bond was the foundation of their collaboration, which would eventually lead to the formation of Shoreline Mafia. During an interview on About That Time with Noah Rubin, Mac P-Dog revealed that he met Ojeezy while working at an IPIC theater in the Westwood section of Los Angeles. That was my first job, the rapper said. Ojeezy actually gave me that job. He was working there with Phoenix too. Mac P-Dog's entry into the rap scene was marked by his unique voice and energetic performances. He quickly became an integral part of Shoreline Mafia, contributing his unique voice and style to the group. He became known for his catchy hooks and lyrical prowess. Songs like Same Kid and collaborations with Shoreline Mafia members showcased his potential and earned him a growing fan base. His music often reflected his personal experiences and the reality of life in Los Angeles resonating with many young listeners facing similar struggles. He and Phoenix released their collaborated single, Half and Half, in 2017. The group's unique blend of West Coast rap and catchy hooks quickly attracted a large following. They started performing at local venues and parties, where their energetic shows and street smarts lyrically resonated with audiences. Speaking with Hype Magazine in May 2019, the Latino upstart detailed his music industry dreams. I'm just a 23-year-old Hispanic based out of LA, doing what I gotta do to support my family, he told the outlet. I can't do what I'm doing right now to get money forever, so I gotta move on to something I'm more passionate about. I was always into music, so that had to be my go-to. Now I'm confident that this is what I gotta do. Mac also revealed he'd been working on putting together his debut mixtape. I got a bunch of songs in the vault that I want to put together as a tape. I think that would be a great introduction to new listeners, he said. But for a song out right now, I think Breakdown tells a lot about how I live as an artist. A rep for Showline Mafia, 
released a statement to XXL on Wednesday, April 8th, regarding the passing of Mac Pedog. On behalf of our Baron Group and the Machine Works, we are deeply saddened by the tragic loss of Mac Pedog. The statement reads, he was an inspirational voice for new artists emerging out of Los Angeles with the magnetic energy and a promising talent that was just beginning to blossom. Our thoughts are with Mac's family and friends, as well as his fans around the world. Rest in peace, Mac P. Dog. Joshi World. Social media platforms were quickly filled with tributes and messages of grief from fans and fellow artists. Members of Shoreline Mafia, the group Mac P. Dog was closely associated with, were among the first to react. Adam Graham Mason, known as Adam 22, a well-known figure in the hip-hop world and the founder of the No Jumper podcast, also took to social media to mourn Mac P. Dog's passing. He tweeted, Shoreline Mafia associate at Mac P. Dog was gunned down in LA tonight. Rest in peace. Adam 22 had worked closely with Shoreline Mafia and played a significant role in promoting Mac P. Dog's music. Phoenix Flexen released a song, Rest in Peace Mac P. Dog, where he promised that his passing would be avenged. So what exactly happened that night? The Los Angeles Police Department responded to the incident, but investigating the case proved to be a challenge. When police first arrived at the scene, they found Mac and the unidentified woman who was largely suspected to be his girlfriend. She was wounded and he was unresponsive. There were bullet holes through the front window and Mac still had a mask on from being out in public during COVID-19 times. He had been hit multiple times in the head and neck area, ultimately passing away in the car. Paramedics arrived swiftly and rushed the woman to the hospital. Although she was injured, she survived the attack and was later reported to be in stable condition. But Mac didn't make it. The crime occurred at the intersection of Hobart Place and Beverly Boulevard, a busy area that quickly became the focal point for the investigation. The LAPD cordoned off the scene to gather evidence and interview potential witnesses. Despite the presence of surveillance cameras in the area, capturing the assailant and obtaining clear footage proved difficult. A few days after his passing, the police released a statement saying they confirmed through witness statement that a single suspect approached Mac P. Dog and his companion on foot. The suspect approached on foot, fired multiple rounds, striking both victims. The LAPD stated, adding that Mac was pronounced deceased shortly after 8 p.m. The suspect fled in a vehicle in an unknown direction. So who hit Mac P. Dog? There are a few theories. The area of East Hollywood that they were in was run by the C-14 Sereno Gang, also known as Clanton 14. Clanton 14 Street is a predominantly Hispanic gang that some believe set up Mac P to be shot and robbed. A rival rapper from this gang, known as CJ Soul, was the person who allegedly made the plan. Mac was hit in Soul's neighborhood, and CJ's cousin was at the laundromat when Mac was shot. The cousin then called CJ to inform him that Mac was gone. After that, CJ called Phoenix Flexen and told him what he had heard, which led some to point their fingers at CJ. According to Soul, Mac P's friends pointed the finger at him, causing others in the industry to exclude him from certain productions. But he didn't think they really believed he did it. Another theory, which CJ Soul referenced on a podcast, was that Culver City took Mac P. Dog out. This group had recently been robbed of a bunch of lean, and there were rumors that Mac P. and his friends had been involved in the burglary. If true, one of the members of the rival gang could have been the one to do it. One seemed to claim the hit while on live. But to some, it seemed like a clout-chasing move rather than an honest confession. According to CJ Soul, the man who allegedly claimed the hit was jailed a few days after Mac's passing due to unrelated charges. The investigation remains active, with the LAPD urging anyone with information to come forward. Those who knew Mac P described him as charismatic and genuine.
He had a magnetic energy that drew people to him and was deeply loyal to his friends and family. Mac P-Dog had a private farewell service and is loved and remembered by his close family and friends. Rest in peace, Mac P-Dog.